Well, good Friday morning, everybody. Hope you're enjoying the piles of snow and all the precipitation we've gotten this week, Al. You know, I think we're all fed up with this weather, and we're really counting on you to come through for us and tell us it's going to be a nice weekend. Well, Phil, it is going to be a nice weekend, but we have two more episodes to deal with of winter weather. Winter's not over yet, Phil. And I'm afraid February next week, the last couple of days of February, are going to go down cold again. Arctic air returns. I don't... We're getting tired. It's getting tiring now. I agree. You know, in November, December, we look forward to the snow after a hot summer and humidity, but uh, it's starting to get tiring. But Mother Nature's not going to relent. She's not going to give up. Uh, we are looking at a major storm possible next Wednesday. So I want you all to tune into Phil and I Monday morning. The data from the gen, the gen energy from that for the upper levels is still in the Arctic. I mean, we have very uh, limited data up there, sparse data. So we won't really know. Hopefully Monday morning. We'll have an idea. It would be Wednesday, and I'm leaning more towards snow for a good part of New England. We'll see about the south coast again, but that's not definite. But just keep it in the back of your mind. We could have a potential winter storm again in the middle of next week. That's potential until we see that sampling of the data. Back into this morning, we have some areas of freezing rain and drizzle. The heaviest has moved off the coast of Maine. Uh, the National Weather Service in Taunton does still have a freezing rain advisory for Hillsborough County until 10 a.m. this morning. I looked at the temperature in Nashville, it's 33, 34, but still be very careful, especially on the side streets and the bridges where some cold air can get in. We will see a cloudy day today. There'll be fog around, Phil, and everyone. Some of that fog, you could drive into a patchy area of, of dense fog with the warm moist air over the snow cover. Highs today, 35 to 40 in New Hampshire. Phil, it's going to be 50 to 60. Connecticut, Rhode Island, southeast Massachusetts, near the Cape. They'll be south of a warm front. That warm front could stall around Interstate 495. If it does, we'll only stay 35 to 40 in New Hampshire. If the warm front gets up close to Manchester, we could be in the mid-40s south of Manchester. But we'll see about that. The warm front may stay to ourselves. Tonight, we will see clearing. There will be some downpours, even a rumble of thunder this afternoon. Clearing tonight, temperatures tonight will be in the 20s. And there will be some icy spots. Tomorrow, we will have a mostly sunny day, 40s. Sunday, mixed sun and clouds around 40. Now, another cold front's going to come through Sunday. Uh, the models are forming east of us, a little area of low pressure. There could be a period of snow Sunday night, maybe an inch couple. We'll have to watch that. Cold and dry Monday and Tuesday, and we'll see what happens in the middle of next week. Al, you've uh, been a bear of very bad news all month. It's been a rough winter. We've been taking a lot of punches from Mother Nature. Not only New England, but it's not just Georgia. How about the Midwest? Yeah, no, I know, you're Chicago right. is getting uh, wind and snow. Uh, they had another uh, winter storm in the Midwest uh, yesterday and last night. It's much of the, uh, actually, we take the middle part of the country east. So Georgia and New Orleans up to New England, the Midwest. It's been, we've been taking punches and hits from Mother Nature. And I don't see any relentless. We're going to get a break this weekend, but the Arctic air comes back early next week and for probably a good part of the next week, Phil. Okay, uh, well, we know it eventually will be June, right? It's got to be. It's eventually, tough. we're going to go right into the heat. We usually, it's tough with the ocean here. It's, you know, the ocean's in the middle 30s, even uh, uh, south of the Cape, uh, near Nantucket Sound side of the Cape. So the ocean has gotten very cold. It's going to take a while for that to warm up. So I know the places like Cape Cod, they usually go right from the winter to summer because there's no in-between with that cold ocean. So we're going to have some chilly times along the coast this spring. Okay, Al, you have yourself a great weekend. Check in with you on Monday to find out about the storm. On Wednesday. Have a great weekend, Phil, and everyone enjoy it.